Democrat Kevin Mullen is the new representative for California's 15th congressional district, one of nearly 80 new House members in the 118th Congress. He told C-SPAN about the advice his predecessor, former Representative Jackie Speer, gave him coming into the job, and about what he was doing in state and local government before being elected to Congress. So I was a California State Assembly member. I was the Speaker Pro Tem of our California State Assembly, the number two officer in the Assembly uh, for 10 years. And prior to that, I was a city council member and mayor in the city of South San Francisco, which uh, we like to remind people is the birthplace of biotechnology. Uh, if you fly out of SFO, uh, you'll see South San Francisco, the industrial city, big white letters uh, on our sign hill. Uh, that is my hometown, and I was a small business owner before that. Um, I had a small communications uh, business, and I was a legislative aide uh, to Jackie Speer, my predecessor in Congress, uh, when she was a state legislator. Uh, I worked for her as an aide. Did she give, any, give you any advice when you decided to run for this seat? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there was no shortage of advice, thankfully, uh, from Congresswoman Jackie Speer. She uh, is an icon on the San Francisco Peninsula, uh, given her uh, 40 years of public life. She's got an incredible personal uh, story. Uh, she is a household name, to say the least. And uh, frankly, it was surprising uh, to everybody, frankly, when she announced her retirement. Uh, she suggest suggested that I run. Uh, she had been watching me not only uh, for my days as an aide to her, but uh, as a state assembly member, state legislator in my own right. And she thought I was a worthy successor. Uh, so I decided to run and uh, really what motivated me was democracy issues, elections issues. I've done a lot of work on those issues in the California legislature and uh, our democracy uh, is hanging in the balance here in Washington, D.C. and that's why I decided to run. But uh, I have sought her counsel and will continue to do so as I get my footing here as a, as a freshman in this big institution. Have you always been interested in politics and holding public office? Uh, not always, although I am the product uh, of some kitchen table conversations. My mother, when I was growing up, was a Republican. Uh, my father, a government teacher, is a civil rights uh, era liberal uh, government teacher, believed in civic participation. So undoubtedly that uh, rubbed off on me um, and continue to be interested in uh, civic uh, matters, obviously as I find myself here at the Capitol. But uh, way back when, I was a mobile DJ. I uh, actually had the, uh, the DJ nickname Cutmaster Kevy Kev, if you can believe that. I wanted <laughs> to be a club DJ. Uh, wanted to mix records and uh, uh, be a radio uh, DJ. That didn't pan out. <laughs> so I found myself uh, starting a small business and eventually uh, finding my way into politics. But clearly being the son of a government teacher who had the C-SPAN school bus, by the way, uh, come to his classroom, uh, way back when, uh, certainly that rubbed off and it's part of my, my DNA. Your mom's still a Republican? Always a Republican? My mom is no longer with us. She did, however, convert to become a Democrat during the Clinton era. She loved Bill Clinton and became a Democrat. So there was some uh, unified uh, Democratic uh, discussion uh, from that point forward. Where do you trace your Democratic roots to? I mean, why are you a Democrat? Well, I, I believe in the role of government uh, in, in helping people. Uh, basically, uh, public investment, I think, is, is crucial to building a better America. I think uh, growing up in my father's household where civic engagement and the role of participating in one's government uh, was so central, I think that really uh, made me a Democrat. I think over time I saw just the role uh, that government can play in a positive way in people's lives uh, in, in, as we deal with these economic challenges, uh, uh, working people and lower income individuals who, who need assistance from the government. Um, I, I think that the civic participation piece uh, is really at the core of why I'm a Democrat. In inclusive government, uh, participation in government, participation in voting, lowering the barriers uh, to participation uh, in our democracy. Uh, that is all uh, why I became a Democrat at 18, and I'm still a Democrat. Favorite artist, music? Favorite music artist? Wow, <laughs> that's a challenging question. To uh, the former DJ. I have so many. You know, <laughs> I, I'm so old school. Um, uh, I'm going to go back to my, my early DJ days. 
and Run DMC, which the, the younger staff here may not even uh, know that reference, <laughs> uh, but uh, I was, when I began my DJ work as a mobile DJ, uh, inspired by Run DMC and some of the uh, early hip hop that dates back to the 80s now. So uh, that's, uh, that's before their uh, generation, but uh, we'll, we'll go with that one for right now. And I would say more broadly, uh, U2 uh, is my favorite band of all time and uh, hope to see them. I think they're back out on the road pretty soon. So I look forward to seeing them.